Hey everyone, this is Senior Stationery and uh, today's review is going to be on the Tiffany & Company T-Clip Fountain Pen. Hey Mr. Lowman, it's been a while since we've seen you and you always have got the great goods. So let's take a look. Uh, this is a recent purchase I made a few months ago. Uh, as if you are familiar with uh, the brand Tiffany & Co. They're well, the a main uh, American uh, jewelry company, very known for their uh, turquoise blue boxes. And well, they have a fairly good taste in their designs for jewelry, but they also uh, do fine stationery. They produce uh, fountain pens, roller balls, and ball points. And one of their most iconic models are the T-Clip uh, pens. What's particular about these pens? Well, in style they're fairly plain. It's they're usually just cylindrical, and their distinct uh, detailing is that the pocket clip is, in this case, the form of the T, as in the shape of that T on the font of Tiffany and Company. So, this is the fountain pen, which is actually not very common. It's fairly rare. Uh, it's more common to see the roller ball or the ballpoint but the fountain pen is not common at all as you can notice uh, it's fairly simple which is part of its charm fairly cylindrical here you have a slightly tapering but other than that here on top you have another also a slight uh, ridge here on the top but on the upper part as well as on the lower is fairly plain the full barrel is cylindrical the cap uh, closes shut as you can see fairly shut so it's fairly simple sterling silver 925 silver um, let's take a closer look as you can see has the iconic Tiffany font Tiffany and company 925 so this is a sterling silver pen and if we keep turning you'll see that it says Germany so it's made in Germany which is a good sign that the fountain pen is very uh, well made as uh, finer nibs are usually made in Germany so that's a good that's a good um, indication of a good quality overall as I said it's as you can see fully cylindrical the only geometrical thing is the clip which is fairly sturdy as you can see it has a slider point so it should keep shot if you put it on a on a on a pocket from from a shirt or or even on a pen case if you put it on a leather pen case it will keep there fairly sturdy and and well clipped as you can see it's spring loaded it's fairly rigid as you can see so let's take a look if we look inside we have over here this is plastic or resin then we have the continuing rest of the pen could probably be chrome if not probably also uh, silver for what I see it seems to be probably chrome and again this is black resin it's plain it's not uh, with any ridges or any gripping but despite being plastic it still has a good uh, feel for writing and comfort even if it has no gripping area now if we take a look a closer look to the nib it's fairly interesting I don't know if you can notice there the design has also again the T design distinct design in the same font as Tiffany and then if we look closer I don't know if you can see this here on the light it says Tiffany and Co let me see if you can notice Tiffany and Co and then it has 750 as in gold so the nib is most likely to be white gold which is interesting uh, usually nibs are yellow gold or fully covered gold but for example Mont Blanc nibs have only the sides have yellow gold and it's interesting that this one is fully white and as you can see it shines really strong so this also could give us a hint that this is actually uh, white gold if we unscrew the pen as you can notice the barrel it's fairly long or standard sized 
This pen uses standard international uh, cartridges or should I call them the Pelican type. Here I have a black ink one to, tr to give this uh, pen a try. So let's take a look. The cap posts uh, fairly rigid here on the back. Doesn't get loose. So that's a good thing. Fairly well, well, um, well made. And if I take also the cap, the pen feels fairly, uh, for being a metal pen, it feels a really, really lightweight pen. And even if I post the cap, it still, it still has a good balance. It doesn't feel very weighty or very uh, too long. Uh, I don't feel, it might be for some people maybe a little too long if you post the cap. But to me, I feel like it's okay. And I also usually like to post my caps on the back, but... Um, again, as I say, the pen doesn't feel that rigid. You just feel, you have a, give a sense of uh, writing with a beautiful jewel. That's, I guess, the feeling that you will get. Um, but overall, it's a really nice, classic, timeless design, which I do like. Uh, too bad that Tiffany doesn't, um, it seems like they don't make this pen anymore. This is probably from maybe sometime, maybe in the 80s or even 90s. Considering the well-made nib, uh, I think it's probably from those times. Uh, I think, I'm not sure, but I think the T-clip still produced, but I don't, I'm not sure if the fountain pen still made, but uh, it still looks pretty good. Uh, again, could be probably from sometime in the 80s or 90s, but I, I might be wrong also, because I did send an email to Tiffany, but... Uh, for their archives, you have to pay something like around, I don't know, $200 or something like that. So they can uh, take a peek and give you feedback on anything that you want to know. So I said, well, no thanks. I was just curious and hoping that someone could tell me more insight on this pen, but they couldn't. So I, I need to pay for that. So never mind that. Now let's give a quick, uh, quick trial for this pen for you to appreciate. I have uh, use. I'm using an online from Germany black ink cartridge uh, to give this review. So again, this is a Tiffany. Oh, let me give this a little spin. There we go. Okay, just had some dry ink. This pen writes fairly wet, so be aware of that. It's not a dry nib. It's a medium sized uh, wet nib. So this is a Tiffany and Co. T-Clip Fountain Pen made in Germany. So the nib writes pretty smooth. This is regular um, printer paper, cheap, not high quality. So even despite this kind of thin and uh, not quite quality paper, it writes fairly smooth. The nib gives a good response, fairly comfortable. I feel like this is a nice pen to write a, a thank you note or maybe journaling. So you will feel really like classy or special using this pen. But overall, in general, the nib is pretty good. Good as any, I guess, standard German nib. So, will I recommend this pen? Yes. It's an interesting find. If you're lucky to find another one, because there's not very common. The design of the nib is really beautiful, and it also writes pretty good. So, again, this was the review on the Tiffany & Co. Uh, T-Clip Sterling Silver Fountain Pen. I hope you like this review. Please feel free to comment or share any experiences if you have this pen or any similar pens from Tiffany. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews. Thanks again for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.